Hi everyone, Carol here. Um, today I want to share with you a project that I made as a birthday gift for Amador, who celebrated with us here on YouTube recently. Um, and I hope you like this, buddy, because um, I cleaned off my desk for you. <laughs> okay, I'll get inside. Um, I put this background here to try to get rid of that glare. Um, so let's just get started. On my last thrift store shopping uh, trip, I found these flower pots. They're kind of like a lightweight uh, cardboard chip um, type paper. And um, I knew immediately what I wanted to do with these. I mean, they had these hideous flowers in there and I pulled them all out, but um, I'll be making one in shabby chic style for myself as well. So I made this topiary tree for uh, Amador in uh, steampunk style. And um, this will just get started. Right here at the top, I took a foam ball and just glued on all of these roses all the way around. And with some of the stems from the flowers, I, uh, I poked in some of these um, little wooden pieces that I purchased off an Etsy or a Zibit store. I can get the link for you guys later. Isn't that cool? Neato. I thought it was fitting for this uh, theme. Here's a key. Here's another type of instrument. I'm not sure what it is. And there's a door plate. And on uh, this one, I just kind of had the wire still twirling through it. And the top piece is uh, clockworks with uh, a set of wings. So yeah, I ran a um, gel through the center of my foam ball and I wrapped a piece of uh, seam binding all the way down with a little string of pearls. And then on the front here, I used uh, crinkled seam binding. It's sort of a um, sea foam, light sea foam, minty kind of green. Um, and I just tied a little knot here and ran some pearls down with a seam binding. Um, for the base, on the bottom here, I used a TCP Studio paper and of course I distressed the edges with uh, some black ink. And this is a Graphic 45 Steampunk debutante paper. Everybody is familiar with this image. And around the top I put a ruffled lace trim here and another tiny trim on top of it. And to kind of hide that seam, I put a, I ran a baby flat back pearl around the top edge. Um, so I put some uh, floral foam inside the pot. I put another piece of the TCP Studio paper on top. And then I uh, ran some hot glue and put on some Spanish moss. And also ran some of the, like the little pearls as you can see here all around on top of the base here. Um, then I also used some of the little flowers here and there. Um, over here I used a word plate by Tim Holtz. It says, possibilities begin with imagination and I thought it was fitting for the whole theme. Over here I have a penny farthing and I just knocked off a gear that I had here, so I'll be putting that back on. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I have a little light bulb over here. And some more flowers. Some more Tim Holtz gears. A wooden piece from the uh, Prima Teton collection here, clock face, with a uh, resin cabbage on. Some more little flowers here. And we're back to the front. Um, for the uh, texture that you see here on the bicycle and on the gears, sorry guys, why am I making me dizzy? I used, um, it's a lot of fun to play with actually. You see that texture on there? Um, 
I used um, uh, RV Marker's snow, snow marker for paper and fabric embellishment. And you heat it with your heat gun. And it, it's a lot of fun to work with, like I said, but you have to be careful because your metal, metal pieces will get very, very hot before it starts to puff up. So, yeah, that's my project, my gift for Amador, and I hope you like it. Thanks for watching, guys.